Each thought in your brain can have content associated with it. This includes notes, web links, and files. The content for the active thought appears here in the content area. There's always space for a note where you can enter text or add pictures. Above the note, you'll see any web pages, files, or additional notes associated with the current active thought. In this area of my brain, I'm going to add some notes for a recipe that I've tried. First, let's talk about the notes toolbar. You have an option in the brain preferences for a compact toolbar with drop-down menus for all features, or leave this option unchecked and see a button for each individual formatting option available. Notes in the brain are formatted using Markdown. If you're familiar with Markdown, you can add formatting in line as you type. If you're not familiar with Markdown, just use the available buttons in the toolbar. To learn more about using Markdown in the brain notes, Click the button with the question mark icon to access the Brain's Markdown Reference Guide. Some of the key features in the toolbar include a text slider that will adjust the size of the text all at once. To apply paragraph styles, such as titles or headings, I can place my cursor anywhere in the line I'd like to change and select the desired style. There's no need to select or highlight the entire line. Paragraph styles can become helpful in large notes by collapsing or expanding sections of my note with the arrows on the left side of the formatted line, such as a title or heading. In addition to other formatting features that you're already familiar with, there are a few special features I'd like to share. Checkboxes are convenient when you are making a list and you want to track your progress. There's also a built-in command to insert the current date and time. The Brain's Notes Editor features a smart paste command that will recognize images, links, or URLs that are pasted into a note. For example, here's an image that I'd like to add into my note. I'll just copy, paste it in, and even resize it. You can also add other content to thoughts that goes beyond simple notes. Whether it's a web page or a document, you can add almost anything into your brain. Click the Attach button to see options for adding other attachments. Let's talk about URLs first. To add a web page, you can type it in here. But sometimes it's faster to drag and drop from your browser. Just drag from the address line of your favorite browser into the Plex to create a new thought. Hover over an existing thought to add it as an attachment. Drag it into the note to create a hyperlink or just above the note to add as an attachment to the current active thought. When this attachment is selected, the web page will display in the brain's built-in browser. You can also click here to open the attachment outside the brain in your default browser. Or click here to close the attachment and return to the thoughts note. File attachments can also be added via drag and drop. Once again, I can click and drag into the note to add as an attachment or into the Plex to create a new thought for each dropped item. I'll click on the attachment to launch it in its native application. In addition to adding existing files into your brain, you can also create new files from scratch via the Attach button. New files can be created from the Add File from Template option. If you don't see the file type you're looking for, return to the Attach button and click on Template Help to modify your own template list with customized documents. Thoughts are not limited to just a single note. Remember, notes are formatted in Markdown. So, click the Add Markdown file to essentially add an additional note to any thought in your brain. Adding notes, web pages, and documents can also be applied to links as well as thoughts. To add a note or an attachment to links between thoughts, 
simply click on a link to select it and use the content area as you normally would. As you can see, notes and attachments are a flexible way to integrate information from many different sources together in your digital brain.